So the management of chronic kidney disease, protein in the urine or nephrotic syndrome have some things in common for all of those conditions. The management is almost always tablets and other therapies. There are no operations that are needed for these conditions. The important thing is to make a diagnosis to find the underlying cause because if that is treatable that could make the kidneys completely better and there are lots of different diseases that cause protein in the urine and chronic kidney disease ranging from high blood pressure to diabetes to a whole range of other conditions that might affect just the kidney or the kidney and the rest of the body. So finding the cause is really important and that may have a very specific treatment depending on what the cause is. So if the underlying cause has been found for the condition then a specific treatment may well work for the kidney disease once the cause has been found. For all other patients there are some treatments which are called non-specific which will help reduce the protein in the urine. These include a group of medicines often used for blood pressure control called ACE inhibitors or sometimes angiotensin receptor blockers and these are drugs that are very well tolerated often only need to be taken once a day and will reduce the amount of protein in the urine. Many patients will need to take these for the rest of their life but it will often be one tablet once a day and for most people there are no side effects for these medications although of course all tablets can cause side effects sometimes but it's very unusual. Controlling the blood pressure is really important in all these kidney diseases. It's the most important factor that can prevent progressive kidney damage. And even though you won't feel your own blood pressure or patients won't feel their own blood pressure, getting this down to very low levels will be very important with regular monitoring of the blood pressure. So most people with chronic kidney disease, protein in the urine or nephrotic syndrome will be on tablets for blood pressure and tablets to reduce the protein in the urine and then they may need medications for the other underlying cause. For example, if they have diabetes, they may need better control of their diabetes or if they have other conditions, those will be specifically treated. Another very important aspect of the treatment of all these conditions chronic kidney disease, nephrotic syndrome and proteinuria are some simple interventions that patients can do for themselves. So reducing the salt intake in your diet can reduce protein in the urine and that's very beneficial for the kidney and will help control blood pressure. Regular exercise also can prevent damage to the kidney progressing and if people are smoking they absolutely should stop since this also damages the kidney and in all of these conditions the outlook is much better if people exercise, keep healthy and don't smoke. And this is clearly general advice but very important. Other dietary modifications can be difficult and if you just look on the web for example and look at kidney disease there's a huge range of options available. For most patients with mild chronic kidney disease or with proteinuria or nephrotic syndrome other than reducing the salt intake, there is not much else they need to do in terms of dietary change.